So this is Lords of the Fallen on a GTX 1650 laptop. I am currently on medium settings with display, FSR on quality. Uh, obviously, I don't have DLSS available just yet because I haven't installed the mod. Um, the FPS is uh, in this narrow corridor, corridor. It goes up into the 40s, but generally on medium settings. You'll see now once I get to this open area. I am using GeForce Experience, but it's not the smoothest experience. It's in the mid 30s. I actually never played this game because the performance was so piss poor when I, when it first came out. But you'll see now with the FSR 3 mod, it definitely does improve the FPS quite a bit. So let's just go with bosses. Yeah, so look, you get the bomb. It's not the best experience at medium, and generally you don't want to be playing a game at low. So let's see what we can do with frame generation. Right, and then this is Lords of the Fallen on a GTX 1650 with the FSR 3 frame generation mod injected. So previously, you remember on these settings, well let me show you quickly, there is slight height glitching which is quite annoying. But uh, previously I was on FSR 2, but to activate frame generation, I'm going to put it to NVIDIA DLSS or DLSS. Um, guys, people are going to tell you that once you put on uh, NVIDIA DLSS and then switch over to AMD, it's going to get rid of HUD glitching. Yes, it does. But then you, it says 70 FPS, but it feels like 50 FPS. So just leave it on NVIDIA DLSS if you want to use this mod. Um, and I am on medium settings so you can see we've got an extra 25 to 30 frames there is quite annoying character ghosting i can't get rid of that just yet but the game is a lot smoother and it's very playable just by the way if you're going to be using this mod definitely switch off vsync when you have vsync on uh the input uh delay is terrible but yeah so you can see this character ghosting and there is glitching on the hud but as far as UI glitching goes, it's definitely not the worst. Some games such as Starfield and others, they actually glitch a lot worse. So it's not, it's not necessarily the worst experience here. Yeah? Um, but if you're purely going for FPS, this might not be a bad, uh, bad call. Because you can see we're getting extra 35 to, uh, or extra 30 to 35 frames. And um, yeah, previously the game felt very stuttery, whereas now the game feels smooth as shit. Right, to install the mod, um, what you're going to do is you're going to install the latest mod 0.9.0. So you're going to be using FSR 2.2, so it's this file over here. Just copy these four files and then go to wherever um, Lords of Fallen is installed on your hard drive. And then you're not just going to paste it in this main folder, you're going to go to the LOTF2 folder, binaries, Windows 64, because we're going to be pasting it with the Windows shipping version, because it's Unreal 5. So you're going to paste, I've already put it in here. Um, and then, what you, maybe what you want to do is create a shortcut for this executable. And yeah, then you just run this, and then you'll notice the scripts, and then FrameGen will be activated. Guys, just be aware that um, I don't really find the Lords of the Fallen the best experience with the frame gen mod yet. Yes, it gives you extra frames, but the game does crash every now and then. Uh, maybe maybe use a lower settings because I know Lords of the Fallen is an incredibly heavy game, especially on low end hardware. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button. It's Friday. Have a good weekend. Cheers. Mm -hmm.